In this video, we drive from Greece to Albania and set everything up for spending a month as digital nomads in a new country. It's time to go to Albania. Our UK insurance doesn't cover Albania, so we had to buy third-party insurance at the border. It was easier than we thought. Hello. Do we need to stop here as well? Tourist, yeah. No, okay, thank you. It's also three minutes and I think we're in. The only thing we need to do now is find insurance. So it took us literally three minutes to get through the border, then we parked just after the border and went to buy insurance, which was dead easy. So we paid 65 euro for a month and then we went to buy a SIM card. We bought a Vodafone SIM card with 31 gigabytes and that cost us 21 euro. That's it. That was pretty quick. Overall 45 minutes and we are on our way. To all the fellow bald men out there who live in a van, I want to present you with the best invention ever. I used to shave my head using these. It turns out these blades are pretty expensive. So what I use now is this, and I can't believe I've, I've not found this sooner, but it's very convenient, it's very easy. I can just do it outside, it takes me three minutes. And now I'm ready to go out. We have now arrived at this beautiful winery in the middle in the middle of the mountains that I had booked for Martin for his birthday. First time ever we will do wine tasting. Before tasting the wines we were taking on the private tour around the vineyard and told all about the process of making wine in this region of Albania. This is a machine that separates the juice from the other part of the grape and with the tubes go at the tanks. The white one go directly at the tents and the red one pass here. This is press mm -hmm. for the red one. Mm -hmm. So is this where it stays for three years? No, they're in oh, the other they, no, okay. room. Or maybe they're... Uh -huh. Because those are big tents. So mm -hmm. it depends on the year who we sell the wine. Yes. Maybe we sell more. <laughs> Not only this place produces wine, but also a lot of local fruit, veg, olive oil and eggs. Is this a um, turkey? Yes, uh, our Turkish chicken. Say what? This is chicken or this is turkey? Yes, Turkish chicken. Yes, we have you can try all those kinds of rakis. Okay. okay. The brandy and three kinds of wines. Shesh white, shesh red and the rose wine. I can't believe all the things we've been treated with, to be fair. I kind of expected half the size and half the amount of amazing stuff that we've been given. So now it's time to try it all. So we've just been for our round two of the drinks. Uh, we're getting treated very well food-wise. And I think there's like 17 rounds of drinks included. So yeah, two rounds in, see how we get on. It's like gin. Okay, mm. okay. Mm -hmm. So we've finished our uh, wine tasting slash drinking a lot of spirits and we did ask the owners if we can stay here and luckily they said yeah we can. First of all thank you for this amazing experience for my birthday and second of all how did you find it? I think I asked on a Facebook group about it and just looked on Google Maps for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant, I meant how did you like, how was it? 
<laughs> so how did I find it? How did I find it? Um, how was it? You mean? <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I've never done wine tasting before, so I didn't really know what to expect and how to expect it to run. Um, we were shown everything, like from the greenhouses, from the organic vegetables that they make, to the vineyards, uh, to the place that they actually make the wines. And we got ourselves a little present. Da -da -da. Not everyone likes it, but I loved it. So I got some to drink on my own. Yesterday was truly amazing. We got to taste some local wine, a lot of local raki, a lot of nice food and brandy as well. So it's clear to say that today I'm not feeling that well. And this now one is are... feeling very well. <laughs> this one is feeling very well. And now we are in Saranda. We've got the money. So as a very hungry human this morning, I've gone over the top probably. We've got two toasties, one's for Martin obviously, but he's already had some breakfast so he's not as hungry. Shh, healthy breakfast today. Yeah. Thank uh, you very much. Let's eat. Thank you very much. So with this kid being fed, <laughs> now it's time to explore the town. We were really curious about Albania. We heard a lot of good things from other van lifers, but this place has never really been on our radar. Funnily enough, Sarandi has turned out to be one of the highlights of our trip so far. I feel like I'm on holiday. I had beers at 12. I know. <laughs> so we got you fed. We got me on beers. Beautiful day today. We haven't had weather like this on a weekend for quite some time and it does feel like we're on holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, we paid two, just over two euros per beer. The beer is cheaper than one litre of diesel. I think the choice is, is made for us. We're not going to be driving anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Did you know that 90% of people in Albania drive Mercedes? Also, did you know that 90% of statistics are made up? We are on our way to sort out another SIM card. We always do kind of, one of us gets one company's SIM card and the other gets a different company. So we've got Vodafone already and now we're gonna buy a one SIM card. See how much it is. It was 2,200 lek, which is around 20 euros, and I've got 32 gigabytes of internet, which is 4G, and then anything after that is unlimited, but it's only 2G or 3G. I usually average about 5 gigabytes a day for my work. Uh, that's excluding any kind of Netflix and stuff like that. So, we, I use, well, it's good to have about 10 gig a day for us. So now, currently, we paid about 40 euros and we've got 50 gigabytes. Uh, which doesn't seem like a lot, but we can always top it up. Obviously, sometimes we try and find Wi-Fi or work in cafes and stuff like that. This morning, we made it to a, a place called Xamil, which is about 20 minute drive out of Sarande, south. It's a beautiful place. The weather today isn't so good. So we decided we're going to show you this place in the next episode. We hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you're going to stay with us through our Albanian adventure. Yes, I've really enjoyed all the views and can't wait to see even more. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>